Hi everyone, this is Sean for Tracker Software and today we're going to take a look at creating dynamic stamps with PDF Exchange Editor. Creating dynamic stamps essentially means adding JavaScript to stamps in order to enhance their functionality. There are several default stamps available in PDF Exchange Editor, which you can see here. It's stamps such as approved, which we can just click to add to documents and it's marked as approved and obviously there's several other default stamps here and you can also create your own stamps here and then we click add new and we can create our own stamp so for example we can use the editor icon and then it's available for us to use in the stamps palette so we can go here and click it and then we can move our own stamps wherever we want to so then to add dynamic functionality to the stamp, we need to add a form field with JavaScript that will enhance the stamp. So in order to do that, we have to close PDF Exchange Editor and then we need to go to the location where stamps are saved by PDF Exchange Editor, which by default is in the Tracker Software folder. And you can get to that folder using this search term. It's a percentage app data percentage slash tracker software slash PDFX editor slash 3.0. And then we go into the stamps folder and our stamps file is this one here, the PDF file. So we move that to the desktop and then we open this file in editor, which is the stamp we created a moment ago. So the first thing we have to do is to add a form field to the stamp. So we click the form tab and then for example we can use the text field and we add it wherever we want it to be in the stamp. So right here is fine. So then we need to take a look at the properties for this text field and we can see them all here. And we can change any other properties we want to change for the form field now as well. For example the stroke color if we want to make the outline of the form field invisible then we can just change this to none and then we won't have a box around the stamp when it's created and to add the dynamic functionality to the stamp we need to scroll down to the value calculation property and select custom action so we can see at the moment there's no calculation functionality added to the stamp so we click this one and we add a custom action and then the calculate action property will become available. So let's run a JavaScript which is what we want and when we click that this dialog box will open. So now we add whatever JavaScript we want to add to the stamp and obviously there are a lot of options at this point. For today we'll just add something simple which is this JavaScript here which is going to return the date and time when the stamp is added to the document. So once the JavaScript is added we save the document and then we close PDF Exchange Editor. Now we move this back to the location that it came from, which is here. And then next time we open PDF Exchange Editor, the new stamp will be available in the stamped collections. Here's our new stamp and we can see it now adds the time at which the stamp is placed to the document. So if we add another one then the time will be updated to show the current time. So that's how to create and add dynamic stamps in PDF Exchange Editor. That's all for today. I hope you found this tutorial instructive and see you next time.